Monday and today I went to the VA hospital because I had an appointment to get some blood work done. Uh, VA stands for Veteran Affairs I believe and yes I am a veteran. I had a very short lived life career as a person that is involved in the military. Don't get me wrong, I will always be involved in the military. It's just that now I'm kind of on the sidelines because of injuries sustained during basic training. Nothing too severe, but just enough to not be able to go back. So, now I'm just getting myself stronger and better because I, I do want to go back, but uh, chances of me going back are very slim, unfortunately. No matter how much I desire it, it will not happen. But I'm still going to desire it. It's one of those vicious circles, you know? So now I am heading to my day job, which is fairly awesome. <laughs> It is. I love the people that I work with and the hours are not that inconvenient. I work 9 to 5, uh, sometimes 9 to 6, and then one day a week I work from 9 to 1. So it's really not that bad. It's just, uh, you know, I want to help as many people as I can and right now the job that I have is helping people as much as I can from what they want to know about what they're going through. It really sounds like I'm a psychologist, but I'm not. <laughs> um, and it's just, it's, I like helping people. So I am going back to school for my master's because I do have my bachelor's. I am going back to school for my master's in the fall of 2019, fingers crossed. I do need to submit a couple more things on the website so that I would have to do on my laptop. Right now, this is my phone, obviously, because the quality sucks. Hopefully, I get a better camera. <sighs> Let the yawning begin. Today, I'm thinking is going to be a not-so-busy day, which means it's probably going to be a busy day. But that is awesome because it's going to go by super, super fast. And that is amazing. And here is what they did for the VA. I just got some blood taken. Uh, the lady, she's usually very good about getting blood the first time she pricks me. But for some reason this morning she wasn't on top of her game. And she started like wiggling the needle to look for the vein as it was already in my skin. And I'm told that that's what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to like take it out and then put it back in because that's uh, a hazard. It's a safety hazard for the nurse involved, for the patient, and bacteria can accumulate instantly after it's taken out. So I can understand why she had to wiggle, but she wiggled so much, and my arm is in so much pain right now. I feel it on my elbow, but elbow. <laughs> but other than that, I'll be seeing them in 10 days to go over things that have been going on with me, so best of luck I'm excited and I'm stuck in traffic which I spared you all from witnessing because I have been in traffic for almost an hour I'm just kidding it's only been like 20 minutes which isn't that bad but it's still pretty bad when I see like the distance that I have to go and I see all the cars blocking me from where I am to the distance that I have to go <sighs> I told you let the yawning begin and I see my like I can see my building but it's just it's it's so close I could walk there faster than I'm driving but you know in this day and age everyone has a car bicycles are really not inf not convenient unless you're going very short distances i have a bicycle which you saw in my previous video but that bicycle <laughs> does not have a lock so i'm not going to risk don't get me wrong i don't live in a very particularly bad neighborhood it's just that 
any neighborhood you live in, a bike can get stolen. Like, it's like water bottles, you know? Yes, water bottles get stolen all the time. You know who I'm talking about. Or maybe you don't. It's okay. If you took this personal, that means you know who I was talking about. <laughs> uh, but basically, I need to get a lock for my bike, and then I'll be able to take it to work, even though on a bike it would take me around 20 minutes to get to work right now it's kind of chilly outside so i'd rather take the bike to be honest and i always bring gym clothes anyway so i could always just change into my work clothes at my job we do have a bathroom for employees that are separate from members so it's not that bad of an idea you know and don't get me wrong i love to go to the gym and if I had the choice, I would work and live above a gym, <laughs> but I don't have a choice. Uh, I'm currently living in the house that you saw in my previous video. You didn't really see the outside, which eventually you will, but the inside of my house is ra rather, it's, it's decent size. It's a family of three. It's not too bad, which you met all three. <laughs> and I like it. I like, I like living where I live. Even though some people say it's not the best neighborhood, I've lived here all my life and the house that I live in was my grandmother's house, so I'm very happy that I got to live in this house after she passed away. And now I'm at work. Now I just have to park. And hopefully parking isn't too bad. I always park in reverse because it's so much easier to leave in the evening because cars like to park where they're not supposed to usually and now I am parked and I'm ready to go to my day job so bye